Right. Going to try and make another video of my uh, Kinex V8 engine. This is the eight cylinder version of the four cylinder uh, engine. So it's basically just the two four cylinders replicated and set at 90 degrees. Built in response to somebody who really wanted me to build it. I kept getting requests for it. So I uh, decided to make another video of me uh, walk around. First video I made was very shaky. Uh, when I put it through the YouTube anti-shake processor, it distorted everything because it was very shaky. I must remember to not wave the camera around so much. Running off two rechargeable batteries powered by these solar cells. I wired into the battery pack myself. These are just available on eBay. The uh, battery's charged up. These days, no sunshine. There's what? There's a, a cylinder missing. Got some bits ordered uh, on eBay so I can finish it off. I ran out of bits, so for now it's a cutaway engine for the ben and for the benefit of those who want to build one. Decided to do it as a make another video of it before I uh, finish it off. Because when it is finished off, it'll be more difficult to see how it's done. So, uh, basically, I'll just go around the engine very slowly with the camera. And, uh, hopefully give you time to look at the innards. And if you want to build one, I don't have the patience to make a blow-by-blow -blow video building it. So, if you want to build one, just pause the video whenever you want to get a better understanding of anything. And, uh... There's a crank there. Let me turn it off. There's the crank there. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'll try and get, up, try and get less shadows on it. But my other videos cover that in fairly good detail anyway. Interesting arrangement of bracing struts here. Because I've got two engines on their side, it, it created this rather marvellous star-shaped three-dimensional brace thing underneath. Although I could shorten that, I could make that half the length and put a truss arrangement there. It only needs really needs to, in fact I could I could basically take all of that off. It only needs to be deep enough. To clear the bottom of the motor so this whole bottom superstructure is not really necessary but, uh, there's a gray rod on the camshaft that's how you do it if you were doing a, a v4 the v8's got red two red rods and they're connected together with a bit of arrangement i've got there but not on this camshaft there's one there that's the connection between the two red rods there and uh, start it up again There's a view into it. One piston missing, of course. piston is basically that. There, uh, there's one, it's only a three-way because otherwise they'd foul each other. They, they go up and, up and down like that and the two on this side go up and down like that. That's to allow clearances, running clearances. There's spark plug little short white rod with a one gray one piece connector on it and a little axle clip thing in there to hold it in place
if it comes all out, out, out all right with the light. I'd stand a camera on something so I can get a nicer view of it. There's one thing I haven't shown yet, which is the uh, cam drive gear. Same as the four cylinder on that side, but then the cam drive on this side is connected to the cam drive on the other side. Through those two there, they just run together. No fan belt or radiator fan yet, I haven't got around to putting that on. Um, so, let's see if I can just set the camera up for one run. behind the camera. And that's it running. And uh, I'll just let that run now I think. Nice thing to have running. But now I think what I will do is I'll stop the video and then I'll start it again just for a straight run. Be nice. But I'll tell you what, I'll put a radiator fan on it and then I'll start the camera again. So back.